Bobby Johnson, yes. <laughs> but, um, you know, this is important that you're here, you know, that you're supporting my brother Shaka, because I want you to know right now in Vallejo, they're having the exact same thing. Yeah, right in front of the police department. In Vallejo, right now. You see what I'm saying? So it's not just happening here, it's happening all throughout these counties, all throughout this state, as well across the state. Stand up. But as we came up, I heard a gentleman talking about citizen oversight. Well, as you know, one of the byproducts of Oscar being murdered was the fact that we were able, as myself, um, get a citizen oversight committee set up with the BART Police Department. And it's important because Marin doesn't have one, and you can make it happen, and there's many different models that we'd like to present to you, the community here, so that you can look at and understand the difference between these different models and how significant it can be in being a voice for you. You know, and so I want to bring some encouragement and say, let's keep these numbers coming out. Let's continue to protest and speak to the very issue of the injustice that we see happening around this, this city of Moran, especially our community. Statistics. You know, say what, wife? Statistics. <laughs> she, she helped bring stuff to memory. But the fact is, is that this is needed. Because we have heard on a continuous basis that many of your rights have been violated. So we personally do have different attorneys that we have already talked to about coming over here. So we're willing to work with you setting up a town hall. Now, when we have this town hall, right, we need the community out. We need the community to come. And we need you, especially the young men, and of course us OGs, to understand what our rights are when we are accosted by these police. But even more importantly, right, let today be the day that you FTP, that is, film the police. You hear what I'm saying? Anytime you see a young man stop by any of these rogue police officers here in Moran County, take a moment out of your life, pull that camera out, stand at a safe distance, and videotape. Videotape. You hear what I'm saying? Because if it had not been for the community, and you've heard me say this, if you haven't, I'm going to say it, if it had not been for the community, videotaping what happened to Oscar Grant on that platform, none of us would know who Oscar Grant is today. That's how important it is. And let us remember, it was because of that videotape that we got first time in California state history, an officer arrested, charged, convicted, and sent to jail. Now, it wasn't a victory, but it's historical. That's right. And right now, Kelly Thomas down in uh, Southern California, Orange County, is in trial for the same thing that happened to Oscar, being murdered by these rogue police officers. And it's on video camera, or videotape. And we believe, but this system is dirty. Let's okay. be fair, clean, and understand that it is. <laughs> but we do believe that because of that videotape, those officers may go to jail. But we're dealing with a wicked system. That's right. The power lies with us as a community, as a people. But we must understand we must unite. We must speak our voice. And we can't just lay down and let this happen to our babies. That's right. This is no longer about us. This is about our children and their children. And if we fail in our responsibility, these babies that you see around here, can, you can imagine what it's going to be like. The Max, Michael Max grassroots shared with us Every 28 hours, a black man, black child, or black female will be killed by a rogue police officer in this state. We got to be clear and understand that these numbers are real. And the only way that we may get justice, like we did for Oscar Grant, is that we come out, we support each other, we stay with each other, and we don't let those provocateurs that like to come in and cause division happen. We must understand that this is real. We are in a state of emergency. Our babies are dying across this state, across this nation. And I'm talking about it's going to take a community. And you're going to have to be outraged. You're going to have to be emotionally tied to this. And you're going to have to be committed because, again, it is about our babies. They are being killed out here on a continuous basis every day right now by these rogue police officers. And they know that they're rogue because we say, that there should be some good police officers, but if the good ones don't tell on the bad ones, they're all bad. That's right. They're all bad. That's right. Thank you. Hey, hey. Hey, listen.